Hi, this is Mr. Smith. In this video, I'm going to go over what I call the syllabus cheat sheet. Just a summary of the most important things in the syllabus. Um, you should also read the full complete syllabus on Blackboard and just make sure if you have any questions that you let us know. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. So first of all, this is our contact information. The one thing I would point out is that the easiest way to get a hold of us is normally email. Let's move on to the next page. Let's talk about textbook materials. Um, so first of all, the textbook is optional. Um, what's not optional is my math lab. That's what's required. Um, you will need to purchase an access kit in the bookstore, or you can purchase the program using a credit card online. The whole process ex is explained to you on Blackboard. If you read the introduction there, it'll tell you what to do. Um, just so, so you know, my math lab includes an online or includes online homework and e-text and many other resources such as videos and immediate feedback on homework. Um, the other things that you need or the other thing that you need to have is a scientific calculator or a graphing calculator. Um, these are the ones that we recommend. Let's move on. As far as grading is concerned, there's going to be five exams, which make up 50% of your grade. Homework and projects, 20%. Attendance, quizzes, 5%. And your uh, final exam will be worth 25%. And it will be comprehensive to some exp uh, extent. Uh, as far as grades are concerned, a grade of 70% or better is required to pass the course. Um, I hope that you'll shoot much higher than that. Um, as far as absences are concerned, just be careful. Um, if you want to be successful in this course, do your homework and make sure you're here. Those are the two biggest things. Um, anything more than six days absent is considered excessive. And uh, normally if you miss a day, you're going to miss a lot of stuff. So just do what you can to avoid absences. Classwork, homework, and tests. So with classwork, there will be class assignments, quizzes, and a couple of projects. Um, homework will normally be assigned in my math lab, but there may be some written assignments. And you must get those done by the due dates, which are in my math lab. Um, basically, for each day that you're late, you lose a quarter or 25% of your grade. So I just really encourage you to get your homework done on time. Anything that's... Uh, this any classwork or written homework that's late is half credit. Um, it's important that you do an excellent job on the homework and classwork assignments. The effort you put in these assignments will likely determine your success in the course. It's kind of what I was just saying a few minutes ago. Really important. Um, we will have five tests. I think we mentioned that earlier. Um, we don't do retakes normally, and there are no makeups for missed exams. If you're um, going to miss a test, um, you know, something comes up the day of the test, please make sure you contact us right away. If we can, we'll try to arrange to have you take the test sometime before the next course or the next meeting. And uh, But otherwise, you would get a zero on that test, and then whatever you get on the final would replace that score at the end. Attendance policy. I already discussed how important that is. Um, Remember, attendance is 5% of your grade, and just, again, more than 6 is considered quite excessive. Let's move on. As far as withdrawals are concerned, um, we are not even allowed to drop students. And for a course that's college prep, you have to see a counselor in order to do that. And, uh, and often, you're not able to drop unless you have pretty good reason. Um, the, the thing the college is doing, and it's driven by the state, is we're working hard to get through, uh, students through their college prep courses so that they're in academic courses. Um, the other thing I would say is don't just disappear. Um, if you do that, you come back a year or two later and you find out you're on probation. And anyway, 
you just want to make sure you do it the right way. The other thing is sometimes students get a little bit hard on themselves. I hope that you'll talk to Amy or myself and we can uh, discuss your, where you're at and your situation and, and uh, we may be able to work something out so that you can complete the course. Um, be prepared to do group work. We like to get you guys together working on things. It tends to make things a little bit more enjoyable and a lot of times we get more done that way. Um, if you have any kind of disability that will affect your work in this class, this is a number that you can call and you can see them about getting maybe some accommodations. I need to talk about email. Um, as a student in San, at San Jack, you're automatically set up for an email account. And if you haven't already set it up, you need to do that. Just go to this website or this email address and it'll walk you through that. If you have any problems, call this number. That's our tech support. The other thing I would mention is uh, you can set up your email on your smartphone and, and that way you can have it set up so that all your email is coming to one place. Last thing I want to say is I just want to remind you that this is not the complete syllabus. This is a summary of what most people would consider most important things. But there's a lot of other things in the complete syllabus. And so please look it over and let us know if you have any questions. That's it.